Hello, welcome to Gorilla Strategies Podcast. This is episode two, and I am your host, Daniel Curran. This is the podcast that will help you gain more power in your life to achieve success in whatever endeavor you choose in order to make it happen. We will be dis- discussing the mindsets, the strategies, the philosophy, and how to live that good life, that life of a gorilla, the king of the jungle. And we'll apply the philosophy of a gorilla, a 400-pound behemoth, and apply it into our urban jungle. So this is a and a podcast. People send in questions, and I answer them. If you would like to have your question answered, go to declarewarwithin.com. Go to the Contact Us page and post a question. If it is a good question, you will have it answered. Let's get started. Number one, the first question was, what is the number one skill that I could learn? And while being a general question, the way I would answer this is the number one skill that you could learn is how to think. How to sit down, do nothing, and think critically to see something from different perspectives to view it from your own perspective to view it from a third party's perspective to view it from a fourth party's perspective to view it from all these different perspectives to understand the nature of the reality of what's actually happened so you could take off your own personal filters and your own personal biases and to think critically about the situation at hand. It's the ability to direct your thoughts in the direction that you consciously desire. So you want to think about, let's say, how to become more powerful, how to make more money, how to have more wealth. And you sit down and you think, you mastermind, you game plan, you plan in advance, you strategize, And then you go out and make it happen. The ability to think is one of the rarest skills that you could find anywhere in the world today. And it is one of the most profitable, one of the most best, and in my opinion, the best skill that anyone can learn as it helps every other skill that you set out to learn as well. Number two, how do I stop feeling bad all day? So... I'll look at this from a simple, practical perspective and um, something I learned from Matthew McConaughey. So back when Matthew McConaughey was on the GQ covers, fitness covers, and and he had, quote unquote, the best body for men back then, and maybe it was like eight, ten years ago. He, in an interview, I think it was with GQ, they asked him, like, what's your secret? And he's like, you know what? I'm really, really busy. I, I'm on movie sets. I'm doing this, commercials, working on my brand. I'm always working, et cetera, et cetera. But no matter what it is, I make sure that I break a sweat every day. Breaking a sweat every day. You could go work out, lift heavy, and I recommend you do do strength training, go in the gym, do sprints, run, whatever you can. Do jumping jacks, some push-ups in your room, some squats, some burpees. Whatever it is, but break a sweat every day. By breaking a sweat and getting those endorphins to start moving around, you are transforming your chemistry on the inside. It is the equivalent, science has shown, that working out, breaking a sweat is the equivalent of taking a Prozac, and a Ritalin, which means your Ritalin is taken for focus and ADHD, but mostly for focus. And the Prozac is taken for depression. So it's the equivalent of taking a depression and focus drug. It is a miracle drug. Break a sweat every day. If you don't have time, just do some jumping jacks in your room. You will stop feeling bad. And then there's more to this question, of course, but Overall, 
Start working out. Start breaking a sweat. Start thinking good thoughts. Stop, start listening to podcasts like Gorilla Strategies. Start inhaling better information. Stop listening to news and and fear based material and information start listening to things that will personally empower you allow you to be stronger mentally physically spiritually in all in every other way you want to be stronger okay so let's continue number three how can i increase my self-belief i recently wrote an article about this so you could check that out as well but this is such a powerful topic right so by the way if you hear some motorcycle some construction in the background i do apologize i am living in miami currently and there is noise there is construction there are skyscrapers there are people trying to race motorcycles while i'm here recording guerrilla strategies for you so please forgive me now how do how do i increase my self-belief I look at this kind of from a unconventional way, I would say, because I believe that self-belief comes down to integrity. And integrity is doing what you said you will do. When you do what you say you will do consistently, and this compounds over time, you will start to have an unlimited unshakable self-belief in yourself. I will present two scenarios and examples for you right now. First, you plan your day tomorrow, the night before. You're planning you will wake up 7 a.m., meditate, and then go to the gym. The next day, you wake up, you snooze, you don't meditate, and you don't go to the gym. What did you just do? You just lied to yourself. You said you would do something and you didn't do it. You just lied to yourself. Why will you believe someone that's always lying to you? You wouldn't. And it's the same way in your relationship with yourself. The next situation. You said you will wake up at 7 a.m., meditate, and then go to the gym. You wake up. You're like, ah. Oh, My pillows feel amazing. My blanket is just as comfortable as comfortable gets. But you still, no matter how much resistance you felt, no matter how much you didn't want to do it, you woke up, you put some cold water on your face, you meditated, you worked out, you came back, and now you have a sense of feeling. What is this feeling? This feeling is a sense of accomplishment. A sense of fulfillment. A sense of meaning. You said you would do something and you did it. You have increased your self-belief. Your word has become iron. The more your word becomes iron, the more self-belief you will have. Now, when you put out and you say that you want to have a goal, my goal is to gain 40 pounds. My goal is to lose 40 pounds. My goal is X, Y, and Z. When you are in integrity consistently every day and you do what you said you would do, goals are no longer this abstract concept in the future. Goals are now decisions. Decisions you make. That you will go and make it happen because what you do, what you say is what you do. Your word is iron. Stop lying to yourself and you will have self-belief. Number four, how can I start being an alpha male? So there's so many ways to answer this question, right? So what is an alpha male, et cetera, et cetera. You'll see a billion and a half articles. An alpha male is someone that's loyal. He's loud. He's quiet. He has great body language. He's dominant. He's he's a leader. He's this. And a lot of those things are true. You will see these common characteristics in any of these mystical alphas that you see in person. 
However, the common factor, the common denominator of every single alpha male and the person who's, who embodies this alpha male mindset, because it is a mindset, it is not just this idea, this character, it is a mindset. The one similarity between all of these alpha males, quote unquote, is power. They are all powerful. So if you want to start being an alpha male, stop being a pussy, become powerful, increase your willpower, increase your personal power, increase, like the last question, your self-belief, become powerful in your thoughts, become powerful in your actions, become powerful in your movement, in your body language. Exhibit strong confidence in yourself, that self-trust, that self-belief, that powerful thoughts that you are filled with constantly and consciously choosing to read powerful material. When you become powerful, you will be an alpha male. And that's it for episode two of Guerrilla Strategies, where we help you become more powerful to have more success in whatever endeavor that you choose to become wealthier, to have better health. So we go over strategies, the mindsets, the philosophies. If you want your question answered on this podcast, go to declarewarwithin.com. Go to the Contact Us page and you will see, uh, send me an email and I will get back to you, I promise. And that is my promise. That is my word and my word is iron as yours soon will be as well. Talk to you soon.